Capitol Hill this morning, really in this effort to, to calm the furor over the attack on the U.S. mission in Benghazi, Libya. Her effort, though, it backfired. The ambassador met with her chief critics. You have them here. Republican senators John McCain, Lindsey Graham, Kelly Ayotte. They have been critical of Rice's initial explanation on those Sunday talk shows of what was behind the September attack that killed four Americans, including uh, Ambassador Chris Stevens. Here is uh, Senator Lindsey Graham's reaction after that meeting. Bottom line, I'm more disturbed now than I was before that the uh, 16th September uh, explanation about how four Americans died in Benghazi, Libya by Ambassador Rice, I think does not do justice to the reality at the time and in hindsight clearly was completely wrong. But here's the key. In real time, it was a statement disconnected from reality. Dana Bash, let me bring you in, our senior congressional correspondent. You were there among the, the reporters and producers there as we saw those three senators. You know, prior to today's closed door meeting, it sounded like these three were, were softening, right, their criticism of the ambassador. What happened in that meeting to change their minds? Well, I talked to some of the senators who were in that meeting, and basically and they said publicly right at that stakeout that they believe uh, that uh, that that. that, that she didn't answer some of the questions, and some of the questions that, uh, that they had she did answer uh, made them more upset. And one of the key issues for these senators, uh, they say, was uh, not just that she said that in a couple of uh, interviews that it was a spontaneous demonstration, which she now admits on the record was incorrect and she, because she was getting incorrect information from the intelligence community, but that she knew in a classified way, which she admitted, I'm told, in this meeting today, that al-Qaeda may have been behind the uh, the attack and yet she went on in at least in one interview to say that uh, the Obama administration has decimated al-Qaeda now what I'm told she told senators in this meeting is that she regrets not saying that what she really meant which is that the core leadership of al-Qaeda was decimated why does this matter because that is really go that goes to the heart of uh, the Republican criticism that she was political that her comments were politically motivated so what is because she it saying? benefited the president to say al-Qaeda was decimated and not to bring them back up um, what she says I'll give you I'll read her you part of her statement that she put out on those unclassified talking points she used. She said they were, quote, incorrect in a key aspect. There was no protest or demonstration in Benghazi. While we certainly wish that we had had perfect information just days after the terrorist attack, as is often the case, the intelligence assessment has evolved. We stress that neither I nor anyone else in the administration uh, intended to mislead the American people at any stage in this process, Brooke. Dan, I'm told that uh, Senator Lieberman just made news on, on the Hill. What did, what did he say just now? It, very interesting. Senator, uh, excuse me, Susan Rice came back for another meeting this afternoon that just wrapped up with Senator Joe Lieberman because he is the chair of the Homeland Security uh, Committee. He came out and you're right, had a very different take. He just told reporters moments ago that he believes that she is qualified to be Secretary of State or anything else if the president chooses to nominate her and that he didn't hear anything in this private classified meeting he just had moments ago uh, to make him think otherwise. A very different take than uh, Senators Graham and McCain and Ayat, and I just just to give you an interesting subplot here. Yeah. Uh, you know, Joe Lieberman and McCain and Graham. There it used to be impossible to find daylight between the three of them. <laughs> I mean, they were the three amigos. They almost never disagreed on anything when it comes to policy <laughs> during the campaign, the presidential campaign. Uh, McCain's aides used to say to make him happy, they would give him cookies and Joe Lieberman. Uh, but in the, <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. But in this particular case, they 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 do have a difference. A bad news for Susan Rice is that uh, Joe Lieberman won't be here next time if she right. if he does if she does come up for a vote because he's retiring. That's right. He says he's done. Dana Bash, thank you and thanks for the color and the cookies and Joe Lieberman. <laughs> that was fun.